Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a super exciting video and I'm absolutely hyped about this one. This is a world fastest DM Ultra account and you're probably wondering, how is this a fastest account? How do you track that? Um, but basically everything is based on in-game stats and I'll go show you guys here in a second. So I'm on Living KV, which is a subscriber's account I've been working on. I jumped on his account Friday as I'm recording this. It's currently Wednesday, so it's taken me five days to finish this account. What I got on the account, it was not completely from scratch. Um, my, some of the weapons were rained up a little bit, so like 40, um, I believe 3 weapons were rained up, mainly MP5, the FFAR, and the XM4, and that basically was he's mainly a warsome player. So he had some weapons rained up, and he would level 73. Now I'm level 356, which means that in 5 days, I rained up 280 times without any sort of double XP. This is strictly from challenges. Um, if you guys haven't seen how we unlocked the Ultra, we basically unlocked it in one game. We got gold for every single weapon in one game, and that is already up on the Connor's channel. Go make sure to check that out. It will be linked down in the comment section. It will be linked down in the description below. Um, and yeah, let's get into the stat. Let's showcase it really quick. So you're probably wondering how fast have we unlocked this. And in the bottom right corner, you guys can see 2 days, 11 hours, and 31 minutes. The second fastest that we have seen, and I've asked around as some of my friends have unlocked the super fast as well. The second fastest that we have seen is 4 days in game. So this is in total, this is multiplayer and zombies, and I will tell you why in a second. But we basically broke the record, I basically broke the record with a day and a half, which is absolutely insane. Some of you guys are probably familiar with the grind and how time consuming it is. And it's actually really impressive and lucky they came with this fast. Um, and why is there zombies in it? So I did play zombies for some of the camos. I was ranking up some of the weapons like the Sigma, the RPG, the grenade launcher, and the knife. I spent a little time in there. And then I did the rest in multiplayer. I mainly played Hardcore Newtown, I played a bit of Fire Team, and, and a bit of Face Off as well for some challenges, but I will get into that in a second. Now, as you guys can see, my elimination to death radio is almost 2, it is 1.97, which is honestly super crazy while going for challenges. The win loss radio is not that good, mainly because I've been backing out of games, so I'm joining games late, and honestly, I've just been focused, strictly focused on getting cameras done, so I haven't really been bothered if I want to lose lots of game. Um, Scope minute is over a thousand, and that is honestly insane too, but that's mainly from playing Hardcore Newtown. Um, you can see the weapons as well, you can see how much we've actually used the weapons. So most of them, the most kills I have with a gun is the full frog, and I was struggling with the, the launcher for this gun. Um, it was super weak, and I ended up getting a lot of extra kills that I probably should have had to be honest. But most of the guns are in the range of 700, or 500 to 700, as you guys can see. Um, and most of the cages are actually pretty good, 2.77, 3.2, and um, 2 plus, and 3 plus 0.2 and stuff like that. There's a lot of guns that are high KD, some of them are obviously dragging it out, depending on what gun it is. Some guns are using others, um, but yeah, I mainly played Hardcore Newtown 24-7, which is why I've gotten it done so quick. Todd is super easy on there, you can knock it out in no time. With, especially with red guns, assault rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, um... There is some exception though, and probably you guys are wondering, the snipers is one category I did in a different game with kind of. Um, I mainly ranked them up in Newt Sound, and I did most of the challenges on Newt Sound, but the challenge long shots I did in combined arms. Um, combined arms is a 12 and 12 mode on really big maps, so it's super easy to get launches done in there, and, and that's the only thing I did on this uh, with the sniper basically. Launch shots and combined arms, then we have the knife. I always do the knife in face off. If you don't know what face off is, face off is 3v3 basically on smaller maps. If you guys know gunfight, basically it's on gunfight maps, similar sizes. Um, it's super easy, maps are small, and it's just way more chill than if you play Newtown or any other game mode in the game. So, launchers. A lot of people have been asking about this. How do you do my launchers? What game would still play? A lot of people just say, play Newtown for double kills, play Newtown for shooting down streaks. I honestly, you can do that. You do whatever you want. I disagree. This is my fourth time on Lucky DM Ultra, and I've done the same time every single time. I've gotten the launchers out of the way easily every single time with my strat. If you guys want to see a more in depth video, on the launch, just make sure to drop a like and let us know in the comment section if there's anything else down in below as well you want to see. Um, go down and comment and we'll see if we can get back to all of you and help you guys out with some tips and tricks to make this grind easier. But basically, shortly to sum up real quick, double kills, I always do them in hardcore face-off. Hardcore face-off, smaller maps, less enemies, less stressful. 
and you can sometimes get up to 10 double kills done in one game of hardcore phase off. I managed to get all my double kills for RPG, the Sigma, and the grenade launcher done in just about two and a half hours, which is crazy. Then shooting down streets is for another thing. Obviously, no phase off. You can do it on Newtown um, as you want. Pretty to myself, I've done it in Fire Team. Fire Team, there's one specific map that is so good for shooting down streaks. Um, with the Sigma, you can just sit back and relax and shoot down literally everything. Um, if you find a really good spot on the map, you can just chill. Um, so that's the main thing I've been playing into account. Face off, the Nuketown, and Fire Team. That's the only thing that I basically play while grinding. And this is why it's been unlocked this fast. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. I have medals I can show you guys. This guy did not have any nukes, but I managed to have to get three nukes for him. I choked two though, five brutals, but three nukes. Um, one of them was a one minute nuclear S12, which is absolutely crazy. And then another 43 kill chains. And when I got in his account, he did not have any kill chains either. So basically in the five, team, five days I was on his account, I got three nukes and 43 kill chains. Um, and that's honestly really insane as well. You can see a point blank for mainly for shotguns and some machine guns. Have the long shots and one shot one kill. Then you can kind of tell how much I played hardcore domination here. Again, if you haven't seen how we unlocked DM Ultra in this account, the link will be down in the description below. We unlocked gold camo for every single weapon in the game. Super intense game. Go check it out. And also make sure to drop a like in this video um, if you want to see more DM Ultra content on the Connors channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Hope you guys have a good day.